So good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. Okay, so today we will read this text and answer the question set on it. Let's have a look at the new vocabulary items available in the text, and then we will answer the questions. Okay. So Susan Potts, 44, is the only child in her family. When she started her married life, she had bigger ideas, much bigger. With the arrival of Elias recently, they, their 14th child, uh, she and her husband, Michael, uh, have finally decided their family is complete. Now we have a new word here, which is recently, okay? So can you give me a synonym to the word recently? You know the meaning of the word recently? Uh, finally. Not finally, it means lately, okay? So recently means lately, okay? Recently. Or lately, okay? So how many, how many children do they have? I mean, this couple, according to paragraph one. One child, two children. The answer is in paragraph one. Only, sure, only. Uh, do they have one child? Susan Potts, 44, is the only child in her family. When she started her married life, she had bigger ideas, much bigger. With the arrival of Elias recently, their 14th child she had and her husband Michael have finally decided their family is complete. They have 14 children? Yes, they have 14. Is it child or children? No children. Yes. So, uh, because um, she was the only child in her family, she decided to give birth to many children, okay? She wanted a big family, okay? She wanted a big family because she values uh, a big family, okay? Four years ago, Mrs. and Mr. Potts bought two houses, okay? Now, I would like to ask you a question here. You have the word ago. Uh, what tense do you usually use with ago? What tense do we use with ago? So, do we use the simple present, the simple past, or the past progressive with ago? No answer? I will give you an example and tell me which tense is used. I visited her two days ago. So what tense is used here? Simple past. Uh, okay, simple. so ago, use the simple past. So simple past. Plus ago. So four years ago, Mr. and Mrs. Potts bought two houses which were knocked down into one to accommodate the family. So 
they had a big family, so they needed two houses. So they knocked the houses down to build a bigger house and to enable them to have their first family holiday for seven years. They have just replaced their car with a mini bus and they needed a bigger car, okay? They needed a mini bus. Okay, so this family is big. Mrs. Potts does the washing in a specialist machine, then spends 15 hours a week ironing. We always plan to have a big family, said Mrs. Potts. I'm an only child, and I think a large family is important. But I think we have enough now, she said. They are very well behaved. Uh, do you have any idea what this word means, well behaved? Jack is a well behaved boy. Jack is a well behaved. Have a good behavior. Yep, well behaved boy. Okay. Okay. Having manners. Polite, etc., etc. <clears throat> there is a lot of noise, though. The great thing is the kids are never lonely. They spend so much time uh, <coughs> playing that they rarely watch television. Mr. Potts, 52, a bus driver, who admits occasionally getting his children names confused said there is never a dull moment in our house it means their life is never boring okay they are always having fun okay i'll make it uh, smaller so that you can see the questions now question number one take the correct alternative this text is about a poor family a small family or a large family a large family. So, a large family is the correct answer. Now, are the statements true or false? Let's check the first statement. Mr. and Mrs. Potts lived in a smaller house. False. No, false. Are you sure? Their first house, was it big or small? Uh, small. No, their first house is small. Read the text well. Read paragraph two. So, what is the correct answer? Mr. and Mrs. Potts lived in a smaller house. True or false? False. Are you sure? It is true. So, Why so did they, they have... buy two houses? They bought two houses because their first house was small and they wanted a bigger house. Mrs. Uh, sorry. Four years ago, Mr. and Mrs. Potts bought two houses, which were knocked down into one to accommodate the family. This means that they used to live in a, a small house. So you have to be careful. These questions are tricky. Okay, these questions are tricky. They bought, why did they buy a new house? They bought a new house because their family got bigger, which means that their old house was small for the family. Now, they have gone on holidays quite regularly. They have gone on holidays quite regular, regularly. It's paragraph two. 
The answer is in paragraph two. So what do you think? So is it true or false? Did they go on holidays regular regularly? It's here. In paragraph two. The answer is in paragraph two. No, you need to go to the So home. it is true or false? Uh, irregularly. Uh, false. Can you give me the justification from the text? And uh, uh, um, uh, to enable uh, them to have uh, their first uh, family holiday for seven their years. Their first ha family holiday. Their first family holiday, which means that they didn't go uh, on holiday regularly. Mrs. Potts doesn't want to have more children. True or false? Paragraph three. She doesn't want to have more children. Yeah, can you repeat uh, the question? Mrs. P Potts, yeah, does not want to have more children. She doesn't want to have more children. True. true. It is true. Yes, true. it is true. Now, can you find? The justification in paragraph three. Okay. In paragraph three. Yes, it's in paragraph three. She does not want to have more children now. So? Uh, it's but I think we have uh, enough now. We have enough now. So does it mean that she wants more children? Or no. She, no, she does not want to have more children, okay? So it's true. I think we have enough now, okay? Now, the next one, uh, Mr. Potts knows the names of all his children. This is an easy question, but a little bit tricky. Mr. Potts knows all the names of his children.
Yes? Is it true or false? Mr. Potts knows the names of his children. True or false? Sir, the last part of paragraph three. No, uh, false. So, Mr. Potts knows the names of his children. Of course, he knows the names of his children. But the problem is that he confuses them. Instead of calling Jack, for example, he calls Peter. Okay? So, this is the correct one. He knows, it is true, he knows the names of his children. But he gets confused. For example, instead of saying or calling Noor, Instead of saying Noor, I say Malik. Okay, if, imagine that I have 20 kids or 14 kids. Of course, I will get mixed up and confused. So his problem is that he sometimes gets confused. But of course, he knows all the names of his children. The children are often messy and naughty. No, it's false. Why? Uh. It's true, but get me the sentence that shows that it is true. Find the sentence that tells you that they, it is true. They are very uh, well behaved. Okay, we know that they are well behaved, but sometimes they are naughty. It's true. Can you find a sentence showing that they are sometimes naughty? You have to read well. The questions are tricky. There is a lot of noise. Yes, there is a lot of noise. Okay. Sometimes they are, they are. Uh, naughty. Okay. Take the right alternative. Occasionally means always, never, or sometimes. I'll give you one minute. So, occasionally means always, never, or sometimes. Good morning. Good morning. You're late, man. Sometimes? Yes, it means sometimes, okay? I occasionally visit my friend, okay? It means I sometimes visit my friend, okay? Dull means exciting, boring, or happy. Boring. Yes, dull means boring, okay? Dull means boring. They spend so much time playing that they rarely watch TV. Almost means they always watch TV, they always play, they never play. They always play. They always play. So they devote much of their time to playing. Okay. Now, what do the underlined words refer to? We have she, paragraph one. What does it refer to? Uh, Suzanne. Okay. Yeah, it refers to Susan Potts. It refers to Susan 
parts. So Susan parts. Fix your microphone, man. Okay. Then they, it's in paragraph three. Okay. They, paragraph three. They, in paragraph three, what does it refer to? Uh, the children. The children, okay. So it refers to the children. It refers to the children. Okay, let's do it. Okay. okay, circle the words that best complete the following sentences, relying on the text, of course. Relying on the text. Okay, okay. Susan has yeah. got. Sir. Yes, Calvin. No brothers and sisters. Yeah, no brothers, no sisters. Okay, she's the only child. Okay, when Ilias, her. Eldest, Sir. second, Sir. youngest, 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 youngest child. Yeah, youngest child. Her last child. child was born. She decided their family was complete. Mr. and Mrs. Pot bought a minibus for their holidays because it's bigger, faster, or cheaper. Sir. Yes, no. Bigger. 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 Okay. The family is big, so they need. A bigger big. means of transport for their holidays. Okay, now let's move on to the language exercises. I will give you five minutes for, um, okay, let's say seven minutes. Okay, you spend seven minutes um, on this exercise. Hi, Miss. Salam, sir. How are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? How yeah. are you? You're good. You're fine. 
Yes, sir. Good. Okay, it's time to correct it now. Peter 9 didn't think of his own safety. Can you give me a synonym to the word safety? It starts with S2. Se a security, security. Yes, security. <laughs> yeah security. So he didn't think of his own safety when he saw a big lorry running toward his five-year-old friend Jack. He threw Sir. Just got him. Sir. No. He threw himself. Okay. He threw himself between his friend and the oncoming lorry. He used his body to Noor protect Protect, yes, to protect his friend. Both boys were thrown dozens of meters. Uh, what does the, um, the expression a dozen of mean? Or a dozen, a dozen. Like a couple or something like that. Yeah, it's like a couple, but uh, give me the exact number. It's like two meters or five, ten, six. Ten. Ten. We have a similar word in Arabic. Tuzina. <laughs> it is Duzina or Tuzina, yeah. So it is Asharat, yeah. Sorry, it's twelve. A dozen oh, means yeah, yeah, yeah. twelve. Be careful. So Thrown dozens of meters uh, as the lorry, sir, Malek or Muad, Muad, hit them. Hit them, yes, hit them, crashed into them. But brave Peter saved Jack's life. Peter, separate suffered severe head injuries. He was unconscious, almost a week in hospital. Sir. Sir. Yes, uh, Dimes? Not you, Kadam. Somebody else? Okay. Moi? Uh. Anybody except Gavin? I want the answer. When, sir? Sorry? Is it when? When? It's not when, what? Four. 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 Okay. So you have four plus a period of time. Four. Period of time. For two months, for two days, okay, you say for two days, for example. You have to be careful of this one. Now, he is recovering at home. His family is proud of what? 
Sure. What he did. Good he did. Yeah. I'm proud of what he did. Okay. Now let's move on to the next exercise, please. Fill in the blanks with the right options from the margin. You have seven minutes. <coughs> We have less than two minutes. Let's do it now. One day, my son said to me, Mom, don't smoke. You? Sir. Yes, Gavin. You'll die of cancer. You'll yes. die of cancer. cancer. Okay. You will die of cancer. <clears throat> yes, I know. I heard myself say, my mother died of breast cancer when she was 32 and I was eight. I forgot, knew, or saw. Sir. Sir, sir. I would like to answer this. Yes, tell them. Knew. Uh, I the knew. Pain. I knew. It means I experienced here the pain of losing your mother in, on, or at. Sir. Rimes. At, yes. It is at. We say at a young age or at the age of five, at the age of six. Amazingly, I haven't had a cigarette for months now and I feel so much better. The money I earn, Sir. lose, or waste. Sir. Yes, Gadam? I waste. The money I... Sorry. Waste. The Maybe money waste. I waste is going to far better use. Okay. But the more, the most, or the least. The most. The, the most. most. But we need the most here, okay? The most important thing is that I want to be around for my kids uh, for as long as possible. Thank you very much. You did really well. I'll call you again, okay? Okay.